how to set up shipping on shopify hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can set up your shipping on shopify in a step-by-step -step manner so having said that make sure to watch this video until the end and let's get jump in and let's get right into it so over here i'm on shopify and over here i'm just simply going to go ahead and log in and if you haven't created an account just simply enter in your email address over here and click on the start free trial and then you can answer a few questions that are optional you can either skip them or answer them it all depends on you and once you've done that you are good to go so i've already created an account i'm just simply going to go ahead and log in and once you have logged in this is how it's gonna look like so over here this is your dashboard over here you're good to go so over here you have your add your products customize theme add pages organize navigation add domain and many many more and you just simply have to get right into it now first we need to create a product because down the line we're going to go ahead and choose a product that we want to ship so all right so that's why we're going to need to choose the products so to add a product you have two ways you could either add the product over here manually by clicking on add product and clicking on this button this will allow you to say go come over here onto this part of this website where you just simply have to add all of these details manually but if you don't want to do that and you want to you know have some drop shipping you know then there is another way for the drop shippers this is one for the uh for the person who is shipping you know who is shipping their product themselves who's manufacturing them they have a warehouse and everything this path is for them but if you're you know drop shipping what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to come into app over here and you need to download this application called obrello now obrello is a pretty amazing application just simply click on it download it and you're good to go create an account and you're good to go so I'm going to go ahead and click on Obrello and I'm going to open up Obrello so that I can, you know, move some products over here. So this is how Obrello looks like. And over here, we're going to click on and over here, we're going to come on the left side and over here, we're going to click on find products. And over here, we're going to find different products. So let's go into men and clothing and cat and accessories. And over here, we have a bunch of different products that we want to choose. So you can choose whichever product that you like. So for example, you just hover your mouse over a product and click on add to import. Now that product has been imported, right? What about these shorts? You just simply click on add to import and they're going to be imported to your import list. What about this pullover sweatshirt? I like that. We're going to click on that, add that to the product. And then that's pretty much it. Just simply, you know, click on add products to your, you know, import list and then come at the top and click on import list and you will be taken to your import list where you will see all of your products and boom there you go so as you can see we have all of our products over here and now what we can do is we can just simply go ahead and edit them out like you know change their names and we can also change the variance prices descriptions all of that right pretty simple just come over here onto products and change their names right but once you've done that once you've changed the name just simply click on import to store you know one by one and boom wait for a couple of seconds and all of these are going to turn green and these are going to be imported into our product list in our shopify account and boom there you go one more there you go that's left no one's left everything is done so now we go into our product list and over here we will see all of the products that we have now we got to change their status from draft to active and to activate them you need to add your you know sales channels so to add a sales channel just simply click on here click on sales channel and choose whichever sales channel you want or you can just sell them online as well so what we'll do is we'll just select all of these products we'll click on more actions we're going to set as active and boom there you go wait for a couple of seconds there you go now that they've activated we can now go ahead and start selling them so we're good to go now let's get to the main topic of this video how can you do the shipping and setting up your shipping all right so first thing we need to do is we're going to go into settings and over here we have a bunch of different options we have shipping and delivery over here we need to click on shipping and delivery and you will arrive on a home page that looks something like this so don't worry if it looks different because shopify sometimes you know it keeps changing it keeps updating its you know ui and look so that's why it might look different but it should look the exact same thing all right so over here this is going to be your general shipping rate all right general all products two locations two zones you can go ahead and manage this and you can choose where to you know you want to ship these products so over here you have all of your products all right you can choose where you want to ship them all right and you can add the rate and you want to and if you want to ship them to the rest of the world then you can add that rate as well so over here we want to create a shipping zone so we click on create shipping zone and over here we click enter in the name of the zone or select the country that we want right same goes with over here we click on these two bars and we'll click on edit the 
zone and we want every single you know country let's go with asia europe we've got africa central america south america oceana and then north america and others and then just simply click on done now we're just simply shipping this to every single you know part of the world and the standard rate is going to be over here you can go ahead and edit the rate as well or you can add another rate it all depends on you or you can create a new shipping zone to your own liking and then just simply click on save and boom there you go so all these countries have been added to the international market now we are good to go now that the general shipping has been done we can go ahead and do that then you can also create a custom shipping rate as well so you know to make a custom rate or destination restricted for a group of products if you want but, and you have local delivery over here you can deliver directly to a local customer over here oh, and you can add like you know delivery by locations you know add a lot of things and you have local pickups you can allow customers to pick up their orders you know to from a specific uh point like let's say you you know you have a shop in a country all right you don't want to go ahead and deliver them you put that shop over there you know an outlet and all of the products are going to come over there and whenever some you know whenever someone's product has arrived uh you'll contact them let them know and they're going to come over here, here they're going to come over to that address and pick them up it's pretty simple and then we have the package size of it over here the packages size you use to ship you can go ahead and add packages over here so click over here let's say box and low soft package or satchel we let's say we want box all right over here we want the you know weight when the box is empty let's say 0 0.5 all right and length width height and this is going to be in inches or centimeters or whatever but uh you can go ahead and input the standard box you know uh size over here so if you don't know let's just search for it so over here it says 12 inches by 3 inches by 17 and a half inches this is going to be a box over here and the price for the box is going to be 225 so that's how it's going to be so let's go ahead and add that over here what was it 12 3 and 17 so we'll go with 12 3 and 17.5 there you go then we just simply click on add package forgot the name standard box we'll click on add package boom successfully added so the package has been added you can add more packages depending upon you know uh the size of the box so this was a standard one then we can go with the larger one and a medium and stuff like that and then we have carrier accounts you can upgrade your plan over here to enable third-party calculated rates to check out and then you have custom order and fulfillment center over here you can add fulfillment services over here if you want and once that's done you're basically good to go so that's pretty much it you just add in your locations and your zones and your delivery locations and you're good to go pretty much it nothing too complicated about that Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below. And I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.